Right, so I want to look at uh, combining terms, just same exact rules, but of course algebra can sometimes look quite scary to some people, so um, we're just going to look at it in a different case where it does appear to be slightly different. Um, here we're looking at this first problem and we see that it says 5a plus 4a to the power of negative one-half minus 8a plus 3a to the power of negative one-half. Now, for some people, if they've never seen a negative power or a fraction power, they're going to be thinking, ah, I don't know what to do, but Remember, when you're combining like terms, which is what we're trying to do here, by simplifying each algebraic expression, because we're adding and subtracting between each of these terms, the only thing that we need to pay attention to is whether or not the bases are the same and the powers are the same. And if the base and the power are the same, it's just a s simple problem for like terms, and we can look for what has a similar term and what doesn't, and think about combining them together. So. Here we can see that we've got um, 5a, and that is a to the power of 1. We also see we have an a to the negative 1 half, so those are the same base, but you'll notice they're not the same power. Remember, a, if there's no power, we can assume there's a little invisible 1 there. So 1 is not the same power as negative 1 half. Moving along, we can see that we have another a with an invisible 1, and another a to the negative 1 half. So thinking about how you go about doing this, what you can do is think about circling or boxing in the ones that are similar. And if there's a sign in front of it on the left-hand side, such as that negative 8 or that takeaway 8a, make sure you take that sign and box it in as well so you don't forget that it's there. I'm going to use a different shape for the other terms. So here the ones in the square are like terms. They have the same base and power. And the ones in the circles are also a set of like terms with the same base and the same power. So going ahead and combining these, I'm going to leave the bases the same, because you always do that. So I have 5a minus 8a. Watch your negative and integer arithmetic there. That's going to be a negative 3a to the power of 1. And again, you don't have to write the 1. We usually don't. And looking at the next two terms that we will combine, the 4a to the power of negative 1 half and 3a to the power of negative 1 half, those combine to get me a total of 7. 3 plus 4 equals 7. And again, you leave the term and the base and power the same. Sorry, you leave the base and the power the same. So we had a's and a's to the negative 1 half in the original problem. And we still have a's and a's to the negative 1 half in the next problem. Or in the answer, it has not, we've not changed the base and the power in those. It stays the same. And for a problem like this, again, if they're asking us to simplify the algebraic expression, Really, we're looking to see, is there anything we can do to make this prettier? Um, so, I notice I've got some brackets, and if I look carefully, I see I've got lots of a's. They all have the same power of 1, so they're probably all going to be like terms, and I'm going to have a bunch of numbers. Maybe I can make this prettier by expanding out the brackets. Thinking back to skills you would know from other maths that you've done. So, remember, there's a negative time or an invisible time sign between the 3 and the bracket. So I'm going to times 3 through to everything. We've got 3a plus 15. 3 times a is 3a. 3 times 5 is plus 15. Then I've got a plus sign. I have now 6a. And then 6 times negative 4 gets me negative 24. And I have that plus 2a hanging out the back. Now I'm going to look for like terms including any signs in front of them. So I see I've got a 3, a positive 6, and a positive 2. I can assume that 3 is positive because it doesn't have a sign there. So 3 plus 6 is 9, plus 2 is 11. We get 11a. And for the numbers themselves, you can see I've got a plus 15 and a negative 24. And watching again the positives and the negatives, that adds up to a negative 9 for us. So here we see that all those terms were a to the power of 1. They all matched up. And our numbers that are just the coefficients by themselves, we can add them up. We get our answer to be 11a minus 9, which is a lot simpler to say than all the stuff that we originally had in that problem written down there in the black. So again, when you're asked to simplify algebraic expressions, you're looking to see, is there anything I can do? If you see lots of adding and subtracting of terms, think about like terms. How can I combine these using like terms? Is there any that are the same I can put together?